What makes music and video games enjoyable? Why do people listen to music and video games on their free time? Why are there people out there who are obsessed with gaming music more than music played on the radio by singers and artists? What draws us to them? On this special series I'm starting, I'm going to discuss gaming tunes that I absolutely love. I feel that some tunes do not get more respect than others, and I hope that this series brings attention to many underrated musical gems. I hope you enjoy! Hey YouTube! Folks, I have something important to say. I love Etrian Odyssey. It is one of my favorite underrated series I have played in recent years on the DS and 3DS. I remember first getting into Etrian Odyssey 1 after watching a review of it on the internet way back in 2012. Wow, that's 7 years ago, time just flies. Anyways, I always loved playing traditional RPGs like the original Final Fantasies and Earthbound. So, when I saw a game with those same elements, plus flexible character building and drawing a map alongside with your voyage, sign me up. Now, over time, I played all of them, and my favorite one is Etrian Odyssey 4. I love the incredible number of dungeons to traverse. They hosted a fantastic soundtrack by Yuzo Koshiro, and there were great character designs made for an incredibly complex RPG. Now, the best part in my opinion was accessibility. This game wasn't as hard as the other three, and it allowed the game to be much more enjoyable and playable to people outside of the series, which Ichiro Odyssey 4 was actually a lot of people's first Ichiro Odyssey game because of how great it was and accessible it was. But, what I want to emphasize with you is my main love for this game, and that has to be atmosphere and exploration. I am always excited to visit these games because of it. The top screen on your DS has you move in a first person perspective, and it makes the game feel more real when you traverse it. While you do this, the bottom screen functions as your map. You use your stylus pen to map where you've been. Each floor begins empty, and over time, you complete this map, and it feels like quite accomplishment when you do so. This video serves to talk about a specific music track in Etrian Odyssey 5 that just allows the atmosphere to just ooze with personality. I of course am talking about the music of the 6th Stratum, Redshift Corridor. This stage has the most incredible music to accompany a dungeon I have ever heard. Now, before I talk about this music, let me lay down some context. After finishing the game, the characters have to complete a mission with one of the story's leading characters. Once you interact with her, she brings you into a warp point that takes you to, you guessed it, outer space. But this isn't your ordinary cheerful space that is portrayed in Galaga or Gradius. No, 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 no. I want to express that this environment here is the kind of intimidating space, oh yeah, the kind of space where you realize you are alone, you are vulnerable, you are left to your own devices and if you face danger, nobody can hear you scream. The music perfectly cultivates this atmosphere. But viewers, I strongly recommend you to listen to this song on your own before hearing my thoughts on it. I recommend you to play this song in a dark room, very loudly, by yourself. Please. Also, I recommend looking at images of space in first person to make yourself feel isolated even more. So, how does this music portray all these complex feelings? Let's begin. The music begins very quietly. There is a very small opening with sounds of falling stars and a sense of rising. You're at peace. This peace continues for a bit. I can imagine an adventurer that the faint music is a person's first impression of space. The adventurer cannot figure out if the environment is peaceful or dangerous. But then, suddenly, 
there is an ominous tone. This tone persists. This tone means you need to be on your toes. This tone continues frequently as the space music repeats. The beat picks up a bit until there is a sound of motion. This motion is the player moving very steadily to be sure not to enter a state of danger in this vast unknown world. The music continues to build into a more menacing and mechanical way, followed by what sounds like a beating, almost like a heartbeat. Is the player okay? The tension is rising as the player becomes more and more nervous, anxiety increasing. Then, a sound effect plays. Awareness of danger is present. This awareness though is ignored as the momentum of the tune continues and the player trudges on bravely. All of a sudden, there is calmness in the atmosphere, but the player is skeptical. Is this true calmness, or is there danger lurking nearby? Player continues to be skeptical as they are traversing this dangerous unknown land. The music begins to include more rhythm-based approaches. At this moment, it seems as if now the player is walking and the player knows that it's being followed by something. What is following the player? Is it an enemy? Is it an ally? Don't know. Can't trust anything. So we keep on walking. Next, we hear a stretching noise. The stretching noise makes it seem like the player is making sharp, quick turns in order to avoid being seen. There is a shriek. It is as if someone is calling for help. Then, after all this waiting, after all this motion, after all these heartbeats and the animal sounds, what do you get? You get a very nice tune after all this anticipation. This tune provides the, the adventuring from earlier with the tone that there is danger on all sides. This tune really struck a chord with me. I felt my body physiologically reacting to its tone. My heart rate rose when I heard it, and I felt myself that I was in a very dangerous environment. This song is one of the many reasons why I love Etrian Odyssey and why I will continue to love this series. I'm just so excited for what other worlds Atlas will provide to its fans. With its environments, with its music, 
laced together in such a way that makes you feel like you're really exploring the world. I can tell you right now, folks, I am super excited for the next installment of Etrian Odyssey that Atlas will provide us. In addition, I really hope Yuzo Kishiro is there to do that amazing soundtrack. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if this series goes well, I'm hoping to pull out a new video and see you then.